Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to be looking at the solutions to homework problems 11 through 15. So let's take a look at 11. We have three resistors with values of two ohms, four ohms, and six ohms connected in parallel with each other and the combination is connected in series with the battery. The amp meter in the circuit reads 0.5 amps. They want us to find the current through each resistor and through the battery. Well, we know the current through a resistor 1 because that's the amp meter that's given. That's 0.5 amps. To find the current going through the other resistors, I'm going to need to know the voltage going through those resistors because I am given the resistance. In order to find the current, I need to know the voltage and the resistance. Because this is, oops, I'm highlighting the wrong thing here. Because this is a parallel circuit, I know that the voltage is going to be the same across each branch of the circuit. So if I could find the voltage for resistor 1, then I'll know it's the same for resistors 2, resistor 3, and the battery as well. And I can't find the voltage for resistor, resistor 1 because it is simply the current and times the resistance. So the current going through resistor 1 is 0.5 amps. The resistance going through or the resistance of a resistor 1 is 2 ohms. So 0.5 amps times 2 ohms is going to equal 1 volt. Now to find the current through resistor 2, I simply take my voltage of 1 volt, divide that by the resistance of resistor 2. So 1 volt divided by 4 ohms is going to give me 0 0.25 amps. And the same thing for resistor 3. I'm going to take my voltage of 1 volt, divided by the resistance of resistor 3, which is 6 ohms. 1 divided by 6 is going to give me 0 0.17 amps. In order to find the current going through the battery, I'm going to need to know the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So because this is a parallel circuit, I am going to use my formula for equivalent resistance. Um, I don't have it here in the calculator friendly version, but you should be pretty familiar with that by now. And when I calculate that equivalent resistance, I'm going to get 1.1 ohms. So I know that the current of the battery or the current of the circuit is going to be my voltage of 1 volt divided by 1.1 ohms. And that is going to give me 0 0.91 amps. And if I add my three currents together, if I add up 0.5 amps plus 0.25 amps plus 0.25 one seven amps it's going to give me something very very close to 0.91 amps uh, so that's another good way to double check our work problem 12 in the diagram we have four resistors with values of six ohms three ohms 15 ohms and 30 ohms connected in parallel with one another and the combination is connected in a series to a 24 volt battery Find the total resistance of the circuit and the current through the battery. So because these are wired in parallel, we know that we need to, uh, find, to find the inverse of the equivalent resistance. We have to add the inverses of the sums of the individual resistors. So I'm just going to find the equivalent resistance of these two first, so the first two uh, resistors. So to find that equivalent resistance, I simply have to find the sum of the inverses and take the inverse of that sum, and I will get an equivalent resistance of 2 ohms. Next, I'm going to find the equivalent resistance for these two resistors. And these two resistors are 15 ohms and 30 ohms. And when I do that, I am going to get an equivalent resistance there of 10 ohms. And because these two combinations are in parallel with one another, then I can find the equivalent resistance for all four resistors. And when I do that math out, I will get an equivalent resistance of 1.7 ohms. I could have also done all four at once because they're all four of them are in parallel with one another and I would have still gotten 1.7 ohms. I would have gotten the same answer either way. To find the current through the battery, I'm going to need to divide the voltage of the circuit by the equivalent resistance. 
So I know the voltage going across the battery is 24 volts. I divide that by 1.7 ohms, and I'm going to get an equivalent resistance of, I'm sorry, a current through the battery of 14.1 amps. Problem 13. Uh, in the circuit shown, we have two resistors with values of 15 ohms and 30 ohms that are connected in parallel to each other, and the combination is connected in a series to a 12-volt battery. I'm going to find the readings of each meter when the switch is closed. So when we close the switch right here... Remember, once the switch is closed, then current can flow through the circuit because there is a complete unbroken path for the electrical energy to flow from one side of the battery to the next. When the switch is open, that path is broken and the electricity can't flow. So we're really going to be focused on the three amp meters is really what we want to find in this problem. Now, because this is a parallel circuit, I know that my voltage of 12 volts is going to be shared equally among each branch of the circuit, and each one of those are parallel branches to one another. So I know that the current is going to equal the voltage divided by the resistance. So for, and let me just make a couple of erasures here. There we go, so it's not so confusing. So to find the Current going through the first amp meter, I need to use the voltage to 12 volts divided by the resistance of the resist of resistor one, which is 15 ohms. 12 volts divided by 15 ohms is going to give me a current of 0 0.8 amps. To find the current going through Resistor 2, this is this amp meter here because it's wired in series with resistor 2. I'm going to use my voltage of 12 volts and I'm going to divide that by 30 ohms and I'm going to get a current of 0.4 amps moving through resistor 2. To find the current going through this amp meter, I'm going to need to find the equivalent resistance between resistor 1 and resistor 2. So if I'm looking for the, um, the equivalent resistance between resistor 1 and resistor 2, I know that the inverse of the equivalent resistance is going to equal the sum of the inverses of the individual resistors. So 1 over 15 ohms plus 1 over 30 ohms, and I take the inverse of that, I am going to get 10 ohms. Now that I know the equivalent resistance, I can find the current going through that uh, last amp meter, and that's going to be 12 volts divided by 10 ohms, and that will give me a current of 1.2 amps. Problem 14. Three resistors with values of 8 ohms 20 ohms and 16 ohms are connected in parallel to each other and the combination is connected in a series to a 36 volt battery. I'm going to find the total resistance of the circuit and the current passing through each resistor. They also want to know how much current flows through the battery. So because these are wired in parallel, in order to find the equivalent resistance, I know that the inverse of my equivalent resistance is going to equal the sum of the inverses of the individual resistors. And again, I'm not putting the calculator friendly version of uh, the uh, parallel circuit formula on um, on here. I've reviewed that uh, with through the uh, previous problems through six through 10 and a lot of the practice problems that I've already posted up on the website and the YouTube channel. So if you're not familiar with that, I would go back and review those problems. When I put all three of my resistors into my uh, formula for equivalent resistance, I'm going to get an equivalent resistance for the circuit of 4.2 ohms. Now to find the current going through each resistor, I know because this is a parallel circuit that the voltage is going to be the same across each branch of the circuit or through each resistor. So to find the current, I know I take the voltage and divide it by the resistance of that resistor. To find the current going through resistor 1, 
I take my voltage of 36 volts, divided by the resistance of resistor 1, which is 8 ohms. 36 divided by 8 is going to give me a current of 4.5 amps. To find the current going through resistor 2, I divide 36 volts by the resistance of resistor 2, which is 20 ohms. 36 divided by 20 is going to give me 1.8 amps. For resistor 3, I'm going to divide 36 volts by the resistance of resistor 3, which is 16 ohms. 36 volts divided by 16 ohms is going to give me 2.25 amps. And lastly, to find the current through the battery, I'm going to divide the voltage by the equivalent resistance. So 36 volts divided by 4.2 ohms will give me 8.6 amps. And I know if I add the current going through each resistor up together, that should equal or come very close to equaling the current going through the battery. And if I add those three up, I will get something very close to 8.6 amps. I think it's 8.55 amps. Um, and you can tell because I'm dealing with these uh, circuit diagrams and I'm not so worried about significant figures for these problems, but it comes out pretty close. Holy cow, I'm boring. I put myself to sleep. Oh, where was I? Oh, problem 15. It's the last one. Bear with me. We have four light bulbs, L1, L2, L3, and L4, and are connected together in a circuit as shown in the diagram. They are dissipating the following amounts of power respectively, 864 watts, 432 watts, 96 watts, and 768 watts. The amp meter that is in series with the first light bulb reads 12 amps. Find the total resistance of the circuit and the total current through the power supply. Let's take a closer look at this circuit before we try to solve the problem. I know that my first two light bulbs, L1 and L2, are wired in parallel with one another. I also know that my Second pair of light bulbs, L3 and L4, are wired in parallel with one another. And I know that my L1, L2 combination is wired in series with my L3, L4 combination. Now, in order to find the equivalent resistance for the circuit, I'm going to need to know the resistance of the individual resistors. And to find that, I'm going to need to know the voltage going across each light bulb. So let's take a look at my first light bulb. I am given the power and the current of that light bulb. And with the power and the current, I can find the voltage for that bulb. And the voltage is equal to power divided by current. So 864 watts divided by 12 amps is going to equal 72 volts. Now that I know the voltage of that um, of that branch of the circuit and going across that resistor, I can find the resistance going through the first light bulb. So the resistance is going to equal the voltage divided by the current, 72 volts divided by 12 amps is going to give me 6 ohms. Now one thing I do know about the first two light bulbs, because they are wired in parallel with one another, I know the voltage is going to be the same across each one. So if the voltage going across the first light bulb is 72 volts, my voltage going across the second light bulb is also going to be 72 volts. So now I know the voltage going across the second light bulb, and I know the wattage of the second light bulb. I can find the resistance knowing those two values because I know the resistance is equal to the voltage squared divided by the power. So 72 volts squared divided by 432 watts is going to give me a resistance across the second light bulb of 12 ohms. Now, I don't know the voltages going across light bulbs 3 and 4. I do know, just like light bulbs 1 and 2, that whatever that voltage is, it's going to be the same for both light bulb 3 and light bulb 4. I know that the total voltage of the circuit is 120 volts. 
So the voltage going across 3 and 4 has to be the difference between 120 volts and 72 volts. So 120 volts minus 72 volts is going to equal 48 volts. That's my voltage going across light bulb 3 and light bulb 4 as well. So now I know the voltage across each of those two bulbs, I can find the resistance across each of those two bulbs. And I know the resistance across light bulb 3 is going to equal 48 volts squared divided by 96 watts, and that's going to give me 24 ohms. And the resistance across light bulb 4 is going to be 48 volts squared divided by 768 watts, or 3 ohms. Now I know the resistance of each of the light bulbs, I can find the equivalent resistance. Okay, we found the resistances for each of the four light bulbs. Now we can find the equivalent resistance for the circuit. The first thing I'm going to need to do is find the equivalent resistance between light bulb 1 and light bulb 2 using my parallel formula. Then I need to find the equivalent resistance between 3 and 4, again using my formula for equivalent resistance for parallel circuits. Once I have those two, then I can find the overall equivalent resistance for the entire circuit using my series formula. So to find the equivalent resistance between the first two light bulbs, I know that the inverse of the equivalent resistance is going to be equal to the sum of the inverses of the individual resistors. And once again, we are going to put that in our calculator friendly version. And I put it here for you guys. So I plug my first two resistances into that formula. And for light bulbs one and two, I'm going to get an equivalent resistance of four ohms. Now I'm going to do the same thing for light bulbs 3 and 4 using the same formula for equivalent resistance for a parallel circuit. I'm going to plug my resistances from light bulbs 3 and 4 into the formula and when I calculate out that equivalent resistance I would get an equivalent resistance of 2.7 ohms. Now I can find the equivalent resistance for the entire circuit by simply adding the 4 ohms plus 2.7 ohms, and that will give me an equivalent resistance for the whole circuit of 6.7 ohms. Now that I know the equivalent resistance for the circuit, I can find the current going through the power supply. So the current going through the power supply is going to equal the voltage of the power supply, 120 volts, divided by my equivalent resistance, 6.7 ohms, and that's going to give me a uh, current of 17.9 amps or 18 amps going through the power supply.